Hey people, today I'm gonna try to show you how to edit your summer vacation shots, especially the C ones because there is a C shot that I have from last summer and I want to talk about that. I want to show you how can I edit that if I edit this now. I can't literally show you another shot that I shot this summer because I didn't go anywhere near the C yet. So I will try to show you the last summer's shot. So, okay, okay. I want to first, okay, first I want to talk about another step, a quick step. As you can see, I imported my shot here, and I want to make a new sequence, which is deneme. Deneme means try in Turkish. So there is another bin. It. Uh, has another shots that I have but we won't talk about that so I made this folder to make it uh, go away so you will just look at these shots so as you can see I have a shot and I have another file which is nothing to do with this well actually it has something to do with this as you can see, uh, I enabled, I disabled this uh, particular audio from my video, which is the reason that I have a bad microphone to record this. It was a, a phone shot, as I remember, it taken with Samsung Galaxy S7, which is an old phone for today's standards. So. If you can see, there is also another voice here, and this is it. I basically just searched for C effects, you know, the wave effects, and I made another one to understand what is going on in here. So how can I edit with how can I edit this with another sound? I mean, there is a sound record for a wave crashing to the boat but uh crashing to the ferry actually crashing to the ferry uh but it sounds really worse so i try to find another voice that someone has recorded and shared for free so there is also so there is also a this thing in here this is a sound effect as you can see, there is a whole video in here. Uh, I will probably show you the, what it sounds like now. I guess I disabled the sound for now, so sorry for that. Let's say you make both parts and you want to upgrade your video for now. So, there is a thing called notes in Davinci Resolve, so I will just open here, I will just come here. This is actually the part that you can do everything. And also, you have this part. This part is actually much more better than this part for me if you are into photo editing. Because I started with photo editing at first, and then I started editing videos. So for me, now, I can edit those footage with this. A lot easier but if I have to make some adjustment which is specifically uh, better and easier at this I'm coming here and I'm doing it in here so you can start here at first but if you are not into photo editing or stuff you can use also here don't just think yourself as I should start here no no you should start here if you want to so I will always make another note because this is the note that has nothing to do with our footage. So if I make some mistake, I can delete those footages so I can just start again with this note. Okay, so I will just try to make things like that, things like that. I'm literally just not thinking it about too much now. I'm just trying to show you the process how would i edit those process so there might be something like 
you you shouldn't edit like that it's it looks really bad well it probably it will probably look bad for now i'm just trying to show you something as you can see i'm now here in color wheels color wheels are as i said sometimes can be really important for me because it's for example sometimes harder to make it in another step in curves curves might be a little harder just sometimes so i am just trying to make it in here now okay as you can see there is uh, just c blues which is teal and some another blue tones maybe green tones so i will just try to change the hue if i can change the hue and make the footage better I don't have to come here, 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 or here, or here. I can just make it in here. Because there is only one tone and there is obviously the whites in here. Okay, so maybe this could be in our video, for example, or this, or probably this. No, right, this could be our video for those standards. Also, you can make the white balance here or you can just use this to make your white balance as you can see it changed the tint it changed the temperature by itself to shot a log file this is obviously an important thing uh, as you might know sometimes a shutting a log file makes the sharpness really really low so you can create a new node name it as sharpness it will help you to understand what exactly did you hear so for example for this label let's say just color and stuff you know you can say just color but i want to understand i made color and i made some other stuff so in here you can choose sharpen you can choose sharpness, sharpen, or exact or, or sharpen, and you can come here radius, and as you can see, it's blurred now, and it's sharpened. So it's a lot sharpened now. So we can come here or come here. Maybe it's a, it looks a little too sharp. Uh, as you can see, I I'm just using my mouse wheel for this pilot if you didn't understand and uh, let's say i think people might focus here so i can look at here mostly right so as you can see well this looks fine actually this is just 1.01 1 .01. so i think it's almost nothing but it looks nice so i will just use it Okay, so we made this part and we actually almost done. As you can see, uh, I think it's looking fine now. But as I said, you can use here, for example, just gamma. Well, it looks nice too. So, for it, uh, as I said, if you are coming from the photography part, there is a look here you know shadow mid-tone highlight you are probably understanding those words because you have a photographer past so you can understand what highlight means you can understand what mid-tone means and shadow obviously there is also something like offset yeah and also i can change those stuff a little bit you know for example, I can make this part a little yellowish or a little bluish. Actually, tealish looks a little bit better, right? Okay. At least in my monitor, it looks nice now. So this is actually a slow part. You know, I just try to tell what I'm doing. So it looks a little longer, but it's actually a lot shorter than now um it changed with your computer settings but rendering this can be a little harder or, or a little easier it depends on your computer i 
literally can't say anything about that. So as you can see here, we try to edit it a little bit and we want to make it faster. As you can see, as I said, it can be a lot faster than I did now because I tried to explain it. But you won't explain it to yourself like I did. So you can make it a lot faster, a lot easier and probably a lot detailed because I tried to show you the basics of it. And I think it looks nice now. It was looking also nice, I think. But it's also looking nice now. So as you can see, editing in DaVinci Resolve actually is a lot easier. And the exporting process can be exporting process can be worse than editing part it depends on your computer please uh, try to change your exporting speed or something like that you can find those on google or on my channel thank you for watching thank you for listening and goodbye